1.2 Chemical Properties of Amino Acids Learning Outcomes 12.2 Chemical Properties of Amino Acid A. Explain the reaction of amino acid with hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, nitrous acid, and alcohol with the presence of acid catalyst. And B. Describe the formation of peptide bond in dipeptides. And this is the overview of chemical properties of amino acids. Reaction with amino group and H2. The first one is reaction with hydrochloric acid. Since the amino group is basic, so the reaction with hydrochloric acid will form salt, as an example given below. Second reaction is reaction with nitrous acid. The reaction between amino group and nitrous acid will form the diazonium salt which is unstable and the diazonium salt will change to form a mixture of product which is alkinoid acid, hydroxy carboxylic acid and halo carboxylic acid and the observation that can be observed is the nitrogen gas bubble evolve. Reaction with carboxyl group the first one is reaction with sodium hydroxide. The carboxy group is acidic, so reaction with sodium hydroxide will form salt and water, as example given. Second one is reaction with alcohol. Reaction between carboxy group with alcohol group catalyzed by acid will form ester, as example given. Peptide bond. A peptide bond is formed when amino group of a substance reacts with a carboxyl group of another amino acid by elimination of water. This is also known as condensation reaction. Peptides are amino acid polymers in which the individual amino acid units are linked together by amide bonds or peptide bond. The peptide bond or amide bond is an amide linkage between the amino group of one amino acid and the carboxyl of another. So, two amino acids will form dipeptide. So now we will show you how to form a peptide bond in dipeptide. Write the reaction between phenylalanine and glycine to produce a dipeptide phenylalanine. So, we draw first phenylalanine on the left hand side and glycine on the right hand side. First of all, we draw the phenylalanine on the left hand side. Make sure N terminal on the left hand side and C terminal on the right hand side. And then glycine also same, N terminal on the left hand side and carboxyl the C terminal on the right hand side. We combine the two amino acids and then eliminate the small molecule water. So this is the structure of phenyl and the red bond this is the peptide bond. So keep in mind make sure N terminal with the free amino is always written on the left and the C terminal with the free carboxyl group at the right hand side. That's all for amino acid. Thank you.